So in this video, I will show you how to connect a G Fanuc PLC. G Fanuc PLC. Now it is connected to the PC. As you can see IC200 CPU E05, the model number. This is the CPU. This is the power supply unit, and this is the uh, base, and this is uh, Ethernet cable connected to the PC. This is your PC. Now Ethernet cable is connected from the PLC to here. So now I will open the program. This is Professor Machine Edition. Now you have to select on Project. This is by default the project. Now there are two two PLC. One is MB and one is RO. So I will connect this PLC. So device is now connected connected to the device. It is showing cross because uh, maybe in CPU there are no programs. So this is the IP address. 3.0.0.1. Now this is the program. I will show you. This is the hardware part. Power supply unit, CPU unit, I/O module. All those things are there. And this is the program block. So this is the program block. You can see here the programs. See, this is the dot. Toggle mode means online mode. Now you can see the online ranks. So maybe there are no pro uh, program inside the CPU, so we have to download the program. See, to download the program, you have to download and. Start the active target. So, the program is downloading. So we have to write the all items to the flash memory. Otherwise, the whole program will be deleted if the uh, power supply loss. Okay. Program is downloading now. See now this the PLC is now green means there are program inside the CPU output enables if you want to output uh, enable the output in the field so you have to check it output enable okay so now see the program is now online CPU and uh, program both are same so there is a green. So you can stop the CPU by clicking this stop active active target. You can reset if you want to reset. Suppose some faults are there inside the CPU, so you can reset the PLC whole PLC. So then you have to click all the memory or controller fault table, I/O fault table. All those things you have to click and OK means the whole CPU will be reset and then after reset you have to again download the programs. So suppose, for example, if one fault is there, so then you have to run the diagnostic. See diagnostic. So here you can see the clear controller fault table. If your controller has some fault, the PLC will be in stop mode. So you have to first clear the fault table and then again you have to download. See, are you sure? Yes. Clean. Okay. The selected memory successfully cleared.
Again, there are faults, some faults. So, by clicking this, you can see the what exactly the fault codes. And now, so you have learned the how to clear the memory, how to download uh, the program from the file to your CPU. And uh, there are another thing is that uh, that is upload. Upload means from PLC to file. You can upload also. To disconnect the PLC, you have to click here. Disconnect. So your PLC is now disconnected. Again, I am connecting this. Now toggle after connection, then that then toggle toggle button. So the program will be in all inline mode. From here you can force the output, force on or remove the force. To insert the ranks you can uh, use this, normally open, normally close, output, this is output, this is uh, normally close button, this is you know, contact. To search any address you have to go here and you have to write the address. IO address of the module and you can find the address where it is used here. If you want to change the address, here you can type, suppose for example this is 2, so you have to enter 2, or it is 1, this way you can change the IP address of the PLC. So this is a short tutorial for the GE Fanuc PLC.